Hello and greetings from Boulder, Colorado. This is Hossein Zir Shakri uh, with Spectrologic. Uh, glad to be here to talk with you and share a story about a project that we had with the San Francisco Giants. Uh, the Giants had a vision uh, that was too strong. Um, the first one was to digitize 50, 60 years of their legacy content and perpetuate it for future generation. But uh, just as importantly, uh, if not more important, is was to make sure that this all all of their content was easily searchable and accessible, so that they could create stories and share it with their fan base on more frequent basis. Uh, we engaged um, the San Francisco Giant with long with our longtime partner, uh, Alt System, and uh, I have with me here Sig Napstad, who's the CTO of Alt System, and he's going to take you through the details of the project. With that said. Uh, Sick, please take it over. Thanks, Hossein, and thanks to Spectra and the Sports Video Group for inviting us to be a part of this presentation. For those of you that don't know us yet, Alt Systems is a national systems integrator and a value added reseller. We're based in California, where for more than 26 years now, we've been a trusted advisor to hundreds of leading media and entertainment companies, corporate media groups, and professional sports teams. Today, I'll talk about how we've helped a number of sports teams around the country create a technology roadmap to guide investment in file-based content creation. I'll highlight some of the ways we've enabled customers to adapt to world events by leveraging remote workflows. We're excited today to present a video reflecting what has been deemed the San Francisco Giants legacy project. Soon after this project, Cutting Edge Audio and Video Group in San Francisco merged with Alt Systems in Los Angeles to offer a complete range of solutions for file-based media ingest, editorial, finishing, and delivery. You'll note the video mentions Cutting Edge multiple times, but today we are Alt Systems, powered by Cutting Edge workflows. I hope you enjoy the video as much as we did making it. Cutting Edge has been the San Francisco Giants trusted media partner for a lot of years. So when the Legacy Project came on the scene, it was only natural that the Giants contacted Cutting Edge for help. One of the first things we did was help the Giants put together a request for proposal on RFP. That allowed the Giants to look at all of the possible vendors to be able to help digitize the Legacy Project video collection. It was natural that when we decided we wanted to embark on such a project of trying to capture 16,000 tapes that we needed help. Once we had all this content that was digitized, it had to go live somewhere. So they were instrumental in, in understanding that workflow, working with Brad on once these tapes come back, where are they gonna live and how are the editors gonna access it? It's an ambitious thing for one to digitize historical analog media over a 50, 60 year period. It's another one to bring it in and make it useful. So our relationship with Cutting Edge, obviously, they helped originally build this first layer system. And we've been slowly growing it year by year to adapt to newer technologies and take advantage of just faster workflows, more efficient workflows. And we were in a position just within these last couple of years where we could actually even conceive of taking on a project of this scale. And so they put us in a position to succeed. We were really excited. We knew about all the you know, non-digital film assets. We knew that digitizing that would make that so much more valuable to them. It would make it safer and more protected. But we knew it would also take up a lot of space, and so they needed a highly dense and, and reliable long-term storage solution in order to accomplish that. Today's successful deployments really rely on advanced workflows. How do we take all of this valuable material and make it accessible, searchable? How do we archive and restore? How do we repurpose these assets for future generations of baseball fans? We had dreamt about all this. We've had conversations as players. What if we could get some of this stuff? And gosh, don't you wish we had stuff of, of so-and-so? Don't you wish we had uh, some kind of a history of, of that series with the Dodgers? We're 
Cutting Edge came in was they understand the entire media lifecycle workflow of getting that digital file copied to a server, making it accessible to multiple edit clients at one time. That's one step of it. And then where we ended up taking our relationship with them was they introduced asset management to us. Accessibility is, is going to be huge for, for our editors and for our producers. And we're going to be able to create stories not just about a certain game, but about a certain topic or about a certain player or about a certain moment in time that I don't think we'd be able to find that stuff very easily if it wasn't digitized and logged in, a, in this way. To see Willie Mays swinging the bat again and chasing down a ball in the outfield, stealing a base, that's just priceless. To see Willie McCovey with that incredible stroke, launching one, those are the kind of things that linger. And I think you'd like for that next generation that wasn't around to see those all-time great players. So with that vast amount of assets that they have, they can't afford to keep it all online. Nobody can. So with a solution like a Spectrologic tape library paired with our Black Pearl Object Storage Gateway, we can still make those assets quickly and easily accessible, bring them in with the, the tools that Cutting Edge provide, like Avid Interplay. They can search those assets, find what they need, download them from the Black Pearl and, and Spectra storage, and incorporate them into whatever video footage they're creating. Cutting Edge really brings a strong expertise in the, the, the stuff that goes unseen, the behind the scenes type work with how workflow gets done, how metadata is moving around and building out that whole infrastructure has been crucial to the, the success of this project. Today's world, of course, is very different than last year's world or even when we started with our engagement with the Giants. We now have social media, we have larger than HD, we have 4K scoreboards, we have broadcast. Each one of these has its own set of requirements and standards that we need to meet. So we spend a lot of time working with the team and develop workflows that address each one of these particular verticals. The most unique thing about working with a sports team in media is the fact that there, there is a need for a link to historical content. A lot of teams around the country are floundering with decisions around media because they don't know how to make that case to their executive management. So we are using this as a case study to empower other organizations to go to their management to show them the power of the media. It hits you at some point that how really truly important this is once in a lifetime type project. Because once these things all get digitized, it, it, you'll, we're never gonna do this again. I don't think we could have achieved success without having cutting edge in there. The end result of this project will be a rich history that's been securely archived to be enjoyed by many generations of future baseball fans. In a sense, you could say for the San Francisco Giants, the past really is now their future. The one-two pitch. Morin Fouts it high and deep right field. Way back goes Monday to the fence. It is gone! Home run, Joe Morgan! And the Giants lead the Dodgers 5-2. Today, I'm going to talk to you about some of the workflows and technical aspects of how we digitized and logged the Giants' legacy content and how we established a new modern content repository that met their expectation for long-term preservation. First, after Iron Mountain was selected to digitize the Giants' media, several truckloads of tape and film were packed up and sent to Los Angeles. There, Iron Mountain did a great job prepping the older videotape and film, so the playback process went smoothly. The digitizing process went extremely well and media ended up in a, in a few different formats. For videotape content, we created 1080 ProRes HQ media. Standard definition assets were upconverted to HD, and anything in a four by three aspect ratio was digitized with sidebars rather than throwing away content just to force it to 16 by 9. Film assets were digitized as 2K image sequences at 2048 by 1556. DPX image sequences were also rendered as ProRes XQ media files and were synced with accompanying audio. All assets were then written to LTO7 tape in LTFS format. Every few weeks, LTO tapes with digitized content were shipped back to San Francisco, loaded into the giant Spectra T950 LTO tape library managed by Black Pearl, which then automatically recognized them as LTFS tape and 
brought their content under Black Pearl management. Even though these LTO tapes at that point showed up as so-called foreign LTFS tapes, Spectrologic Black Pearl automatically indexed and managed them by associating their content to a pre-configured Giants Black Pearl bucket. From there, we used Spectra's free and easy to use tool called Eon Browser, which is essentially a file object explorer, if you will. Well, this allowed us to see the assets in the San Francisco Giants buckets and to move the media to high speed tier one editorial storage, which in this case was Avid Nexus, thereby allowing the editors to begin to log and edit. By the way, Eon Browser has the ability to use the S3 credentials, access ID and secret key to view the San Francisco Giants bucket that is on tape. This was really an essential part of the workflow. From there, an Avid editor was able to import an asset from Nexus into Media Composer and check it into the Giant's Avid Interplay Production Asset Management Database. The ability to import and index LTFS tapes directly from Iron Mountain and not needing to write them back into the archive saved us an average of five to six hours per tape, a huge time saving in the overall process. So the net result, the Giants digitized a total of 16,000 tapes and reels of film. In total, there were some 25,000 hours of content and the total collection ended up being more than two petabytes of media. Let me bring Spectra's product manager, Jeff Bronstein, back into the conversation to talk a little more about how Black Pearl's built-in features were so essential to the Giants' legacy project workflow. The tight integration of Black Pearl with a wide range of applications facilitates the automation of various workflows based on your needs. Black Pearl is a modern storage gateway system that simplifies the management of disk, cloud, and tape all under one single namespace. By using an object-based architecture, along with auto-tiering and intelligent object management, Black Pearl brings a new approach to both your infrastructure and storage systems with web-based architecture. It is a modern object storage gateway that eliminates the need for legacy systems and their associated costs and complexities. Spectra's Black Pearl Object Storage Disk Solution is a modern object-based disk storage system that can start small and scale to over 15 petabytes. The disk-based solution allows organizations and their storytellers to create bigger stories faster. Black Pearl Object Storage Disk delivers a low total cost of ownership by its higher density, incremental scaling, and ability to power down bands of drives when idle. Because of the adaptable data policies on Black Pearl, it is easy to add object storage disks to existing tape-based solutions. By using object storage disks, the storytellers now have faster and concurrent access to the content. Thanks, Jeff. After the digitizing part of the project completed, it became obvious that the editors and storytellers at the Giants needed even faster access to this large repository of content in order to create stories at an accelerated pace. The solution? The solution was to add 1.5 petabytes of object storage disk. Now with a simple change to the data bucket policy, and with a simple command to have Black Pearl rehydrate the assets, San Francisco Giants editors are able to automatically replicate relevant assets from the tape library to object storage disk. Remember, Alt Systems touches every part of the media chain from acquisition to delivery. We'd like to extend an exclusive offer to SVG members for a technology roadmap consultation where my team and I will sit down with you to map out options for your content creation team to leverage the latest technologies and workflows. Contact us at sales at altsystems.com. Thank you, Sig, and thank you everyone for taking the time and listening to this case study and how a uniquely designed solution helped the San Francisco Giant achieve their goal. Uh, both Sig and I are going to be available during the Q&A session later on in the day and we look forward to it. Uh, thank you and be safe.